The very first thing that you need to do before you actually install your M2 drive is create a Windows recovery drive. To do this, insert a USB flash drive with at least 16 gigabytes of space. And make sure that your AC adapter is plugged in so that you don't lose power during this process. In Windows, click the Start button and search for Care Center. In the search results, click Care Center, which will launch the Acer Care Center application. After it loads, click on Recovery Management and click the Get Started button next to Create Factory Default Backup. If Windows asks you if you want to allow the app to make changes, click Yes. When the window opens, make sure that the box is checked next to Backup System Files to the recovery drive. Click Next. And after a moment, you'll see the USB flash drives that are available to create recovery media. They must be at least 16 gigabytes in size. In my case, I only have the one flash drive plugged in. If you have more than one drive in this list, you need to select the one that you want to use because everything on the drive is going to be deleted. Once you're ready, click Next. It'll warn you again that everything is going to be deleted. When you're ready, click Create. From here, it'll go through creating the recovery drive. This could take some time, even upwards of an hour. Once it's done, it'll let you know that the recovery drive is ready. Click Finish, and then close Acer Care Center, and completely shut down your computer. Now, unplug your AC adapter, remove your USB recovery drive, and turn your computer over. You should see this panel, which gives you easy access to some of the components. There are three screws securing it in place. Remove each screw, and set them aside. There is a spot in the lower left corner where you can lift the panel up. You should feel the clips release and the panel will come completely off. The first thing you want to do is remove the existing hard drive. That way when you use your recovery drive, Windows will install onto the new M2 drive. Simply slide the drive out, and then lift it out of the system, and set it aside. The M2 drive will go in the empty space here. There is a single screw that holds it in place. Please note that some models don't support installing M2 drives. If your model does not have a receptacle to attach the screw or connect an M2 drive, your model may not support this upgrade. Remove that screw and set it aside. Then take your M2 drive and insert it into the computer at an angle. It should go in pretty easily without any sort of force required. Now push it down into place and secure it in place with the single screw that you removed previously. Now you can place the panel back on the system. The back goes in first, and then you can set it down into place, and press down to re-secure the clips. You should feel them snap back into place. Next, replace the three screws that you removed previously. Now, turn the system back over and insert your USB recovery drive, and then plug your AC adapter back in. Power the computer on, and immediately start tapping the F2 key until you see the BIOS screen come up. There are a few tabs along the top of the screen. Using the arrow keys on your keyboard, move to the right until boot is highlighted. You're looking for the boot priority order, and specifically your USB recovery drive. It should be labeled USB HDD, and in my case, it's a SanDisk Extreme Pro, but yours will be whatever model USB flash drive you're using. This needs to be in the number one position, above the new M2 drive. Use your arrow keys to move down and highlight your M2 drive, and then tap the F6 key until it's the first item in the list. Now, press the F10 key on your keyboard to save changes and exit. Yes should already be highlighted. Press Enter and your computer will load into the recovery drive, and after a moment, you'll see this option screen. Click Troubleshoot, and then click Recover from a Drive. Click Just Remove My Files, and then click Restart. Windows will start installing. It'll take some time, and it'll restart periodically throughout the process. 
Once it's finished, you'll be brought to the Windows Setup screen, similar to what you probably did when you set your computer up for the first time. Go through the setup as you did before, and after a few more moments, your computer will load into Windows, now running on your new M2 drive. At this point, if you no longer want to use your old hard drive, then you're done. If you do want to use your old hard drive as additional storage, or you have files on it that you need to move, then go ahead and shut down your computer. Unplug your AC adapter. Then remove your USB recovery drive and turn your computer back over. Remove the three screws from the panel and set them aside. Then lift the panel up from the corner to release the clips and set it aside. Now, take your old hard drive and lay it down in the system, with the side closest to you going in first, under the lip of the case, making sure that the connectors line up, and then slide it back into place. Replace the top panel with the back going in first, and push down to secure the clips. Replace the three screws, and turn your system back over. Power it on, and immediately start tapping the F2 key until you see the BIOS screen come up. There are a few tabs along the top of the screen. Using the arrow keys on your keyboard, move to the right until boot is highlighted. You're looking for the boot priority order, and specifically your new M2 drive. Mine is the Lighton drive in position 2, but yours will be whatever brand or model you've installed. This needs to be in the number 1 position, above the old hard drive. Use your arrow keys to move down and highlight your M2 drive, and then tap the F6 key until it's the first item in the list. Now, press the F10 key on your keyboard to save changes and exit. Yes should already be highlighted. Press Enter and your computer will restart and load into Windows. Once your computer is back in Windows, click this folder icon to open File Explorer, and in the left column, click this PC. You should have two drives now. The C drive is your new M2 drive, and the D drive is your old hard drive. If you click into the D drive, you can see any of your old files and folders that were on the old drive. You can leave them all in place just like this if you want, or you can move specific files to your new M2 drive, or you can just format this old drive completely and start from a clean slate. To do that, go back to this PC, right click on the D drive, and click Format. You can leave everything at their defaults. Keep in mind that everything on this drive is going to be erased. When you're ready, click Start. And then click OK. And after a moment, it'll let you know that the format is complete. Click OK. Close the Format window. And if you go into the D drive, you'll see that it's now empty. If you have any other questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.